Ahoy me hearties, Captain Deadeye Jack here again with another tutorial video. Help you guys become better sailors and uh, plunder these damn seas. Alright, so last uh, video we did uh, terminology, um, kind of understanding where different parts are on the boat. Port, starboard, bow, aft, stern, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, today we're going to go into some actual practical sailing stuff. Uh, this is all just basic stuff, I mean... You know, you probably figured this out on your own, but just in case you didn't, that's why I'm here. Teach you guys a thing or two. All right, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and raise anchor. As you can tell right now, I got the wind, uh, once I drop sail, it'll get, uh, full up as soon as I got it. But what we're going to do first is we're actually going to adjust the angle of that because I kind of want to show you guys different speeds. Um, that way you can kind of determine how fast you're going just by looking at your sail. So, <clears throat> first off. Let's go ahead and adjust this. Uh, once I eventually get to it. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to put it all the way to port. Now you see, once I drop my uh, drop my sail, that's, I ain't going to get any wind into it. So as you look at it, this will get you going. Even if you're completely in the wind against everything, uh, you will still continue to go forward. You know, fuck physics, right? But, uh, Right now, this is the slowest you abs uh, This is the slowest you can go with your sails unfurled all the way. Okay, so here's what it looks like uh, once it jumps up. This is usually operating range. This is where everybody usually kind of operates at. Uh, you know, got you going about 75% of your max speed. You get along pretty decent at this speed. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. And then here is the sweet spot. Uh, you'll hear it. Listen for it. Right there, you can hear. Um, the sail billow and catch that wind there's only a small sweet spot where this is effective at so uh if you want if you're out running somebody you need to have somebody on the helm and somebody on sails keeping the wind in your sails the entire time now a warning to all of you maybe some of you guys don't know this if you are a sloop so you sloop the uh, solo captains and you duo captains if you are going in with the wind as you see here, I'm going as fast as my schooner can possibly go, and I'm chased by a galleon right now, and they know what they're doing, they will catch up to me. The galleon is incredibly hard to maneuver, big and bulky, but the one thing not a lot of people realize, if you have wind in all three of those sails, it will fly. So anytime you're in a pursuit situation with the galleon, and they're right off your stern, you're going with the wind, they will catch up to you. Okay, so next. We'll get to uh, more strategies on that later. Right now, if you're listening, I got uh, my rudder is amidships right now. So you see that gold, that gold handle right now. That is uh, my rudder indicator. Now, if you were listening you know, over my voice, you can hear it kind of makes a little bit of a vibrate, and there's also or it makes a little bit of a noise, and it actually vibrates in the controller as well too. Now, I got my rudder all the way to starboard. You see that's still in the middle. But it's not rudder amidships. So as I'm going, I'm going to continue turning to starboard. You know, because that's how this works. So one of the things I want to show you is uh, this is in correlation with the uh, sailing techniques as well. As you can see, I'm turning and I got full sails. It, even though I'm a schooner, it takes a long time to turn. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to demonstrate to you um, how you can effectively sail as long as you're... You see what I'm doing here? I'm curling, I'm, I'm furling up the sails. And adjusting and making my turn a little bit more tighter you can avoid a lot of running uh, instead of going for the that time try and go for your sails instead and uh yeah gives you a hell of a lot more maneuverability now as you can see i'm running with my lights on right now um that's just because uh i'll explain more about that later but uh right now we're still kind of going into steering and whatnot so what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to try and teach you guys an anchor turn. Now, what an anchor turn is, is it will, uh, if you do this correctly, and you can do this in a galleon. If you've got a tight crew, it is possible to do this, and it's possible to do it fast, but it takes a hell of a lot of team. All right, so right now, I got full sail. My rudder is amidships. I will continue going straight, okay? There's my anchor. So this is how you do an anchor turn. Let's pay attention to the direction. You see, I'm going northeast right now, okay? So what I'm going to do, you can do this either direction. I, I prefer to go into the wind. Funny enough, I'm actually going with the wind on this one. But uh, 
and I'll, I'll even explain why. I'll show you. So as soon as that anchor drops, you immediately get on it and start raising it. Okay. By the time you're done, by the time you're done raising this anchor, you should be just to the point that uh, it stopped turning. So I should have corrected right away, but I didn't. So since I went, I did that anchor turn with the wind. I kind of overshot it a little bit, so I went. Uh, you know, pass 180 degrees. And it's funny, I actually did that anchor turn at like the perfect time. I don't know if you guys were paying attention to the music, but uh, I was about to go into uh, uh, open waters, uncharted waters. And the seal turned red, and you'll slowly uh, start losing, uh, you'll start gain gaining holes from out of nowhere in your ship, and it'll eventually sink. Uh, Alright, so continuing on. <clears throat> now, as you can see, I got the uh, full wind in my sails. I'm hauling ass. Um, now, if we were in a situation where a galleon was chasing us, so let's say I was being chased by a galleon right now, so I will show you the best thing you can do. So first, just put your, it's easier to do it like this, just so you know you are dead on in the wind. So this. I said earlier, the galleon hauls ass when you got all full sails and you got full wind, you got a good crew, they will catch up to a sloop in a matter of seconds like it, it, it's pretty quick one of these times i'll take a video and get, uh show you guys us uh pursuing one of our targets anyway as a sloop if you want to get away from a galleon what you want to do is uh as you can see what i did i put my sail all the way forward okay and i'm going directly into the wind or at least i'm trying to um coming to starboard a little bit but i'm going directly into a wind this is the only situation where you can outrun a galleon so this is your the you solo duo cat or duo captains this is what you guys need to be doing going into the wind now this is something i do i don't show it in the video but it's at least a tip that i'll kind of bring on to you guys I, I i usually play with my crew but when i don't I'm, I'm typically alone so i've gotten real good at solo sailing and learned some tricks um what i like to do if i got a galleon pursuing me and I got dead into the wind, there's no way they're going to be able to catch up with me as long as I got my rudder and midships. I could leave the helm for a little bit. Absolutely. So one of the best things to do is right around here, you see I got, uh, there's spots for gunpowder barrels, and you can get your sniper and harass that galley and slow him down. But, uh, anyway, real quick uh, video for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, be prepared for more, and uh, fair winds and falling seas, friends. I'll see you around.